Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Frank. On my previous video, I was showing the steps that I was going to take to restore the OEM factory wheels that came with my 2006 M5. Now, the plan was originally to strip the wheels of the original paint, uh, then do some welding repair because the wheels had a bunch of curb rash, um, and then go ahead and repaint the wheels. Now, as I started working towards stripping the paint, I did run into a couple of issues, if not fails at uh, altogether. Um, so I, the first thing I tried is I bought this gel type paint stripper that you can purchase out of the shelf on any hardware store. The gel type paint stripper is not the best thing to use against factory OEM wheel coatings such as the ones used by BMW, which are really good quality, they're really thick. And the result was uh, after using half a liter of that gel type paint stripper, uh, I've only gotten to kind of strip the top coating. And these wheels are hyper silver. You have the top coating, the clear coat, but then you have a couple of paint coatings and underneath you have a couple more of sealers and primers. So all in all, I've counted around four to five coatings on the wheels. So, uh, n needless to say, uh, you need a, a stronger paint stripper. I tried a more aggressive solution, which is methanol chloride, and you can find this on uh, lacquer thinners. So I bought a couple of gallons. I bought a big tray, the biggest tray I could find in Home Depot. I dipped, the, dipped one of the wheels, wasn't able to dip it completely, obviously, uh, but it was enough for me to try and experiment if it's, it was gonna be uh, more a faster method and it was better it it, it did take the, the parts that were uh, submerged in the solution the, the paint came out quicker but still uh, the solution was not even able to get, go past the paint layer moving forward I think I'm gonna try and sand off the paint and not I'm not gonna try and sand it all the way to bare metal just do a uniform 400 grit sanding um, even that might be a little bit difficult because these wheels have a lot of radiuses and features that make it a little bit difficult for the sander or even bare hands to reach those areas. It's, it can be done, it's just going to be really work intensive. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair one of the wheels that has a substantial curb rash and a, bit, a couple of big gouges in it and I'm going to use my TIG welder with some aluminum filler rods and it's really incredible what you can achieve with a hobby grade TIG welder and just a little bit of experience. Stay tuned.
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think the next steps for me are to either strip the paint, all paint out of those wheels, or just prep them with uh, 400 grit sanding. And I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. So please stay tuned for the next upcoming video. And if you like this video and if you like my series, please hit that like button and subscribe button so that you can get notifications for the next upcoming videos. And remember, for projects like this, all you need is a little bit of faith and a whole lot of wrenching. Thanks for watching.